Okay, I want you to remember that you're in a safe place. Remain relaxed. Are you relaxed? Ready to continue? Yes. All right, then. Let's return to where we left from. You're 11 years old, and you've just wakened from the nightmare. I feel cold. It's hard to breathe. Stay calm. I'm here with you. Now tell me what you see. Blue light is covering my body, pulling me away from it. Explain that. What do you mean by pulling you away from your body? I, I can see my body asleep below me, but the light is pulling me away from it. It's so cold. Where is the light taking you? There's a spiraling ball of gas. If it leads somewhere, get off, go. That's fine. Remember, you're safe. All this has already ended. Okay, let's move forward past the light and ball of gas. Where are you now? I'm on a table. It's too bright. They're looking at me. Who's looking at you? Them. The spirits. They make me talk to them. They make me read the signs. Describe these spirits. They look like fetuses, only bigger. They have long, thin fingers and spongy skin. And they talk with their eyes. And how do they do that? They're so close. Too close. Through their eyes, my mind can hear their raspy whisper. And do they ask you to do things? They tell me to prepare, to read the signs. They say the gates will soon open. Sometimes they give me messages. That's why the organization makes me talk with them. OK. I want to talk to you now about these visions. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to wake up. When you do, you'll feel rested and refreshed. And you'll have full memory of everything we've discussed here today. I'm going to count down to one, and you're going to return to a cognitive state. Five, four, take a deep breath, two, one. So do you believe me now? I understand you've made certain hypotheses based on your beliefs. And judging from your specific line of work, I'm pretty sure I know what those are. However, I have an alternative explanation I would like you to consider. OK. I can say for certain that the fear and the pain that you've expressed are genuine. You aren't lying. However, universally, children around the age of 11 have nightmares. Retaining some of that is understandable. What I believe to have occurred is one or more hypnopompic or hypnagogic experiences associated with sleep paralysis. Now, while frightening, these experiences are not unusual. They occur in 25 to 30 percent of the population, and of that group, 20 to 30 percent have multiple episodes. This would explain your inability to move the difficulty in breathing, the hallucinations. You just heard me a minute ago. Those weren't hallucinations. Freud used hypnotherapy in his early studies, specifically on a group of female patients diagnosed with hysteria. Now, under hypnosis, these patients relived detailed experiences of childhood sexual abuse. Now, initially, he thought that these related to actual occurrences of abuse. But under further therapy, he discovered satanic rituals, often with the devil himself appearing in all his hoof and horned glory. Well, he soon dismissed these stories as fantasies. What's your point? My point is that while we can use hypnotherapy to pinpoint the focus of your problem, we have to view the occurrences that present themselves through a filter of reasonable doubt. Doubt? What about before the hypnotizing? I showed you the scars. We all have scars that we got in childhood that we may not remember how we obtained. 
Look, we need to work through these instances of childhood fear so that you can get control of these dreams that are causing you such difficulty. Doctor, I'm telling you these are more than just dreams and childlike fantasy. These spirits are trying to communicate with me. I'm their messenger. Please calm down. I can't believe I risked my position to come see you. They wanted this kept secret. If they knew, I was letting others know. They. What would it take for me to assure you that simply isn't so?